Thanksgiving Day. Grandfather's house hides in the early snow, while in her apron, kitchen all aglow, Grandma slowly prepares the yearly feast. White cotton tablecloth, silk napkins creased, cover the plates like turkey tails outspread. Hot chestnuts vie with loaves of homemade bread beside a thatchwork horn of harvest fruit. A porcelain pilgrim smiles to salute his counterpart, a blushing Indian maid, while down the cobbled path a promenade of uncles, nieces, cousins, friends, and kin greet one another before marching in to take their places round the glowing fire. The children, dressed in holiday attire, called dibs on drumsticks, wishbones, wings, and thighs, or dream of bread puddings and pumpkin pies, and scoop another ladle full of punch. Ignoring warnings not to spoil his lunch, Dan sneaks a second cookie from the tin, and little Cassie can't conceal her grin when Tommy kisses Jenny on the cheek. All laugh with Baby Ann's delighted shriek on hearing Uncle Henry's turkey call. Then to the table hurry one and all, as cinnamons and nutmegs warm the air. We fold our hands and bow our heads in prayer. Our hearts beat joyful hymns as if to say what words cannot express this blessed day.